Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Pink Boo West, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to make this inside out wallet out of duct tape. So basically, they call it an inside out wallet because the things that are normally on the inside are on the outside, such as the credit card holders, ID holders, things like that. So there are two normal shaped card pockets, one V shape, an ID, and then the middle bill fold to hold your money. So without further ado, let's get started. So the materials you're going to be using are a pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife with a sharp edge, one or more rolls of duct tape, and then some clear tape for the ID and just finishing off all of our things. So to begin, you're going to cut out a strip of tape that is 4 inches long, and this is going to be making the build fold, so choose your color that you want for that. And then you're going to cut out in another piece and you're going to slightly overlap it on the bottom so that they are connected ever so slightly. Then you're going to flip it around and take some tape and overlap it and go sticky side to sticky side with a little bit on the edge fold that over for a nice rounded edge and then you're going to flip that back over to add more tape to the side and then you're going to continue your way working downward overlapping these strips until you reach six inches once you reach six inches you're going to leave a little bit on the bottom and whatever is left over you're going to fold over for a rounded edge then you're going to cut any of the extra tape and then you're going to clear tape it so that it can last a little bit longer so this is what you're going to have at this point and this then you're going to take a piece of tape that is six inches long and you're going to cut it in half horizontally once and then in half vertically So this is where it can get a little tricky, but you want to make sure there's no stickiness on the inside. So you're going to take half of the piece of tape and you're going to fold it over so that it's kind of halfway stickiness to part of the canvas and then you're going to fold it over. So as you can see, there is a little bit of stickiness on the outside, but for the most part, it's all covered up on the inside. And you're going to go ahead and do that on both sides. And this is just because if you only do one piece of tape on the very outside, what's gonna happen is then there's going to be some stickiness and then it may get stuck to your money or whatever you're keeping in here. So as you can see from the video, just folding it over a part way. And I know this part can get a little bit confusing, but it will definitely ensure that there is no stickiness on the inside of your wallet. Then you're going to take the other half of our strips and you're going to take that and you're going to fold it over so that there's no stickiness on the outside this time. And this will make sure there's no stickiness anywhere and it'll just all be completely sealed up. And if you'd like, you can also clear tape those edges as well. And then just go ahead and cut off any of the extra tape or fold it in. So then you're just going to take two Velcro pieces and you're going to peel one of them off and stick them on the inside and then you can just leave the other one attached and then stick it and this is just to get a more precise area to make sure that they match up completely. So now the billfold has the Velcro. So now you're going to take three four inch long strips of your clear tape and you're going to do what we did before, layering them and then folding over the top and bottom piece and this is going to be our ID slot, so then you just want to make sure it fits. Then you're going to take a piece of tape that is um, four inches long, and then you're going to cut it into thirds and use this to tape down the ID slot. So you're going to tape it down on three sides, and obviously if you want, you can do it on the top side and bottom and leave it one side open, but I decided to do the top portion open. So now you're just going to take a six inch long strip and you're going to fold it over in half and this is going to be the ID um, like the card pocket basically and you're going to want to make two of these and you're going to cut any of the extra but yeah you're going to make two of them and then you're going to get a four inch long um, strip of tape and I chose to use clear 
um, that swirly preference and then you just use that to stick the card pockets down on the bottom but only stick down the bottom portion because we're going to stick the sides on later. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a 4 inch piece of tape and this is going to make the v-shape pocket and then you're just going to basically cut out like an envelope or a v-shape on the very top portion and I just use something to make sure it's straight but you do not have to do this and then you're just going to take another 4 inch piece of tape, stick them down sticky side to sticky side then cut a slit down the middle and fold over the sides for a nice rounded edge and then what you're going to do is you're going to take some um, tape and I chose to do the same color as the v-shape pocket and you're going to stick down the bottom and both of the sides So now we are almost finished for the last step. You're just going to cut little slits in the tape that sticks down the card pockets. And this is just to make sure that your credit cards and things like that can easily fit in without any um, like getting stuck or anything like that because the cards are about three and a half inches long and these pockets are four inches long and usually the tape juts in so you just want to cut those slits just to make sure that the cards can slip in nicely. And also guys, don't forget to cut the slits on the ID pocket because I did forget to do that and I had to go back and do that later. But that's pretty much it for today's video. So thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my content. Click the little bell so that you get notified as soon as I post a video. Once again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!